Hi, I will show today how to install and how to use status app. So let's start with the left side. I will launch Play Store and search for status Ethereum. And it's already found. The current version I, uh, I'm using for the demo is 099. And that current version works only on Robston testnet. This is a test network, so please do not send real Ether yet uh, to the status wallet because it's, it works only on the testnet and uh, mainnet is not yet supported. First time you uh, run the app, you will see only console screen where you need to create your new account and for this account you need to provide a password in order to provide password you need to tap on the message or on this comment so I tap on the message input field got this password command inserted and then I'm typing my password and tap on send button to send it I'll need to type it again, just to confirm, and send it again. You need to wait uh, a moment or two while the account is generated. Application will show several messages. What uh, is important to know about these messages? First of all, this one is your let's say, secret passphrase. You need to copy it somewhere and uh, it will be used if you need to recover your account. Let's say you want to install it on another device. So uh, you can long tap on this message and you have two options to copy it to clipboard and use it somehow or you can also share it, for example, via email. So don't forget to copy this and store it somewhere. The second message, this one, is asking your phone number. This is not a mandatory step to provide your phone number. It will not restrict you from using the app if you don't provide phone number. In fact, uh, in several countries like USA, Canada and some others, uh, the service that we are currently using to send the confirmation codes do not, does not work. So even if you will use it, it will not send you confirmation code. So you can skip this step or you can of course try it. And uh, what it's supposed to do, it's um, getting all your uh, contacts from your phone book and uh, importing them to status app. And the last uh, option, not, not option, but message. Um, yeah, I can try to shake and show. So you have several options. You can start chatting with us or you can just report a problem. So in case you found something strange, you can tap on report a problem. It will create a screenshot of your current account, not account, but screen. Then you can provide your email and you can uh, add description on what happened. And it would be great if you can also add some steps, like how you came to that situation. And then you can send it to us. So you'll get extra logs and your problem report. Uh, what is also important to know about this, uh, this screen is that first time when we launch up and create new account and application is just installed, it will start syncing with blockchain. In this case with uh, Robston testnet. And uh, this is the progress of syncing. So you can see that it's 95% right now. And this is the block numbers that application knows about at the moment. So until it's not uh, completely synced, you will not be able to send and receive Ether. And of course, this Ether, at least in this current version, is only test Ether. To get it, you can use faucet command, this one. So you tap on it 
and from the suggestions you select the only one uh, URL and tap on the send button. So we sent a false request and should receive one ether in few few moments. Again, we're still syncing, but as you can see, we have already back button. So let's just briefly uh, look at all the comments here. We also have phone comment in console. Yeah, what it does, it's actually the same thing as, as this message. So let's say you've provided your phone number, but uh, made a typo or you want to change your phone number. You can use this uh, comment, tap on it, type your new phone number and send to application. Uh, just in case you would like to uh, check how syncing is uh, going on or in case you have some issues with it, you can also check the property of, of Web3 object called syncing. And you can also use suggestions. Send it to console and yeah, currently we see that it's false. It means that syncing is already done. So it's done, but yeah, our uh, notification bar was a bit slow in updating. So our syncing is done. Let's go uh, back from console to the chats screen. This is the screen that you will see each time when you launch up.